When you think of marder pools, the image that comes to mind first is a large bull elephant stretching for an out of reach branch. But I want to show you there's so much more to marder pools than this one amazing sighting. In this video, I want to tell you how you can get to marder pools, what you can see and photograph here, as well as what camera gear to bring on safari. Please stick around to the end as I'll be showing some of my favourite images from this trip. My name is William Steele and I'm a wildlife photographer for Pangolin Photo Safaris. Part of my job is scouting out new locations to bring guests and that's why today I'm here in Mana Pools. Mana pools can be accessed through various airports and airstrips depending on your starting point. For those travelling directly to Zimbabwe, the closest major airport is Victoria Falls, located approximately 350 kilometres away. We start our journey from the Pangolin Chobi Hotel, which is just a 70 kilometre road transfer from Victoria Falls. A layover in Victoria Falls is a great opportunity to see one of the natural wonders of the world as well as soak up some of Zimbabwe's culture. It is also a great hub to visit more of Zimbabwe's national parks, such as Hwangi National Park. Once you've arrived in Zimbabwe, you have two main choices to reach Mana Pools, either by road transfer or charter flight. Chartered flights to Mana Pools airstrip is the most popular and recommended way of getting to Mana Pools, offering a short two-hour flight that lets you soak in the beauty of the landscape from above. Most camps are a short drive from the Mana Pools airstrip. Mana Pools National Park is located in northern Zimbabwe, along the southern banks of the Zambezi River. The national park covers about 2,195 square kilometres, providing a vast and varied landscape. It encompasses the floodplains of the Zambezi River, woodlands, grasslands and four main pools which it is named after. The park has a diverse range of terrain including floodplains, woodlands and Mapani forests inland. One of its most iconic features is the riverine landscape. The Zambezi River flows through the park creating a unique environment where animals and plants coexist in close proximity to the water source. Scenic riverbanks offer stunning panoramic views of the surrounding landscape. This area is particularly famous for its towering ancient mahogany and acacia trees, which provide shade and sustenance for a wide range of wildlife species such as elephants, lions and wild dogs. The park experiences a subtropical climate with distinct dry and wet seasons. During the dry season, temperatures can soar and the vegetation gradually dries up. However, the wet season brings relief in the form of refreshing rains, turning the park into a lush green paradise. The wet season runs between November and April. Mana Pools National Park has been designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is protected as a national park. Due to Mana Pools being a national park status, there is no off-road driving but a vast network of roads both along the river and inland providing great access to wildlife. The park also allows visitors to get out of their vehicle and walk, which provides a unique opportunity to not only get closer to sightings but also a lower angle for photography. For me, it is an incredible opportunity that really sets monopoles apart. That being said, it is advised to make use of trained walking guides or park wardens.
Manipuls is famous for its large population of elephants, known for their impressive tusks and size. Most people know of the resident superstar Boswell, an elephant bull known for its ability to stand on his hind legs while plucking food from the tall trees. But he's not the only elephant that does this. Guides talk of at least five different males who have since adopted this behaviour. Fred Astaire, named because of his dance moves before standing up, we were lucky enough to follow on several occasions as he reached for branches overhead. Other mammals, including Cape Buffalo, Lion, African Wild Dog, Spotted Hyena, Zebra, Eland and Impala are frequently seen. When moving towards the water, photographers can get sightings of hippopotamus as well as Nile crocodiles and waterbuck. We just had an amazing experience. We were following the river looking for game and we bumped into some beautiful lion in perfect morning light. Because we're in minor pools, we're able to get out and walk. So with the guide's permission, we got out and followed them as they went about their morning activities. And what an amazing experience it was. Mana Pools is also an amazing birding destination due to its vast range of habitats including woodland, high riverbeds and savanna. Water birds are well represented along the shore of the Zambezi River and the Four Pools. Southern carmine bee eaters can be found nesting in the riverbanks during the dry months. African skimmer, Pell's fishing owl, purple crested turaku and Lillian's lovebirds are just some of the birding treats that you might encounter during your trip. We were able to tick off several new birds in our time here. There are several activities that visitors can enjoy in and around Manipal's National Park, including game drives, canoeing and walking safaris. Guided walking safaris give visitors the rare chance to explore the park on foot, enjoying a more intimate experience with nature while learning about the diverse plant and animal life. A combination of game drives and walking, where you are able to get out and follow subjects, is a perfect way to get the best position photographically. The guide's experience and understanding of the wildlife helps you get close, intimate moments with general game, elephants and even predators such as lion and African wild dog. I would recommend having a range of lenses from 24mm to 5 or 600 mil for optimal versatility. As walking is a large part of the Monopole's experience, a longer lens is beneficial for zooming in and capturing distant wildlife as well as the amazing bird life within the park. It is worth bearing in mind that longer prime lenses can be heavy to carry while walking, so a zoom telephoto lens may be suited for people not used to carrying primes. Make sure to pack your camera straps so that you can easily sling one of your cameras over your shoulder while walking. You will also have the opportunity to get up close with subjects like large elephants, so having a wide angle lens is essential. The stunning environment really makes Manipal's a unique park. So a mid-distance lens, such as a 70-200, is perfectly suited for this location. Additionally, using a GoPro, action camera or phone can help capture the expansive shots and the thrilling experience of walking, canoeing or driving through the remarkable landscape. When packing your camera gear, it is important to keep in mind the luggage restrictions that often comes with flying on a chartered flight. Therefore, you must pack strategically. Manipal's National Park offers a range of accommodation options. 
Visitors can choose from lodges, high-end tented camps and also camping facilities. The vast choice of lodges provides comfortable and well-appointed rooms with different levels of amenities, while tented camps offer a more adventurous experience with spacious tents equipped with beds, basic furnishings as well as basic facilities. The lodges are strategically spread out across the park, each offering its unique scenery. This allows visitors to choose a lodge that best suits their preferences and desired experience, from lodges nestled by the riverbanks to those situated inland that offer waterhole viewing. It is worth noting that some lodges may close during the rainy season. This is because the park's terrain can become challenging to navigate and access during this time. Manipal's National Park is an incredible destination. From close encounters with elephants and lions to the exquisite landscape, it is a must-visit location full of photographic potential. The park's remote nature and limited infrastructure contribute to its untouched charm, allowing you to create truly authentic and unique images. So, whether you're a professional photographer or just a wildlife enthusiast, the beauty of being able to photograph on foot means that Manipal's National Park should not be missed. The park promises an unforgettable experience and the chance to capture one of Africa's most unique environments. Sadly, we've come to the end of our safari, but what an amazing experience it's been. If you would like to find out more about Mana Pools or speak to one of our safari planners, I'll leave the details below. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.